Alright, what's up everyone? Just thought I'd do this little story to update you guys on how I've been. January, I went to the Winter 5Bs. I weighed in at 205 pounds. Today, I weighed in this morning at 181 pounds. So I dropped about 24 pounds. Fat and water, I'm on a ketogenic diet, so I lose a lot of water when doing that. And I implemented intermittent fasting. For you people who don't know what intermittent fasting is, it's when you have an eight hour eating window. So let's say my window is somewhere around 12 to 1 p.m. And then you stop eating around 8 and 9 p.m. And I would get all my calories in there. Uh, before and after the window, I'll have uh, black coffee, water, salsa water, stuff like that. Zero calorie stuff. Uh, I tried it three times before and three times in the past I have failed intermittent fasting. What's really helped intermittent fasting is combining it with the ketogenic diet. It has me feeling full. It's 12 p.m. now. I just got back from the gym and I'm not even a little hungry. I could uh, push it back till maybe 1 or 2 p.m. Besides that, I've been seeing my calisthenic moves get better just because I got all the extra weight off and also my uh, shoulder injury doesn't inflare as much. So my shoulder is still not 100%. I doubt it will ever be 100%, but it feels so much better and it, it could go so much longer than it could have before when I was a bit heavier. So another thing I've been doing is counting calories. I've been using my Fitness Pal app. It's a free app on the App Store for iOS. You download it and it gives you a, a log and the calorie counts for certain foods. You can use the scan to scan the barcodes of the food or if you're a local restaurant they'll have the whole menu in there sometimes sometimes they don't you can request a menu or you can just look up the foods in their search and you can find comparable foods or the exact same foods and their calorie count and you could it'll give you a, a maintenance of what your deficit should be and what your surplus should be you eat at the surplus which is uh here then you would gain weight you eat at the deficit which is here you'll lose weight and if you eat here you stay the same weight so i've been using that with intermittent fasting with the ketogenic diet mostly one day out the week i refeed on carbs usually when i'm social and i go out if you guys need any tips on losing weight, slide in the DM. Uh, I'll be more than happy to help you. Um, sometimes I'm a little delayed with the response, but I do try to get to everyone. So I came back from the gym today and I got a package in the mail. Let's check it out. So I just got this really cool package from Danny Riders in the UK. He does these custom parallettes. Uh, he made this one as a gift for me and it's awesome. It has uh, uh, the Barstars logo and it has the King Crown with Ed. I didn't request that, but very humbly accepting. Thank you, Danny Riders, and check them out if you want some custom parallettes. These are dope. I also just discovered that they have these really cool feature where they stick to the ground kind of. It's like these stickies at the bottom, which you know comes in handy when you're doing handstands or different variations of uh, moving exercises that might be dynamic on parallettes. These actually help keep you on the floor. So I actually just got back from the gym. It's like 40 degrees in New York. It's blistering cold and I'm not quite ready to hit the park yet. So I hit the gym and I just came back home and played with the parallettes for maybe 15 minutes. And I realized I'm pretty exhausted. I was just so happy to be like a kid on Christmas when you got a new present. So I'm going to put these away and start getting on with the work I had to do today. Hope you guys have a beautiful and more powerful day. Peace. Alright, so it's 1pm. I finally got hungry. So I decided I'm going to start eating my first meal of the day. Which will be my breakfast. Get it? Break fast. So I'll be having eggs dipped in coconut oil with slices of cheese on it to make it into a cheese omelet. And then three Brazil nuts. And I'll show you how I track it on my fitness pal. All right, guys, so my breakfast was 669 calories. I have 1,246 remaining, which means if I eat that, I would lose weight, and that's my goal. It's a 500 calorie deficit of what my maintenance would be. Now, I know all of that sounds kind of complicated, but with my fitness pal, it kind of organizes it uh, best for you. There's many different apps. I like my fitness pal because I, I feel like the database is the largest when it comes to different foods. 
and it's the easiest to use in my opinion I haven't tried them all but uh, if you have uh, preference you could check them different ones out I'm having a great time with my fitness pal uh, I track calories for the weight loss and I also keep my macronutrients uh, really high in fat just so I can stay in the ketogenic diet I feel like I have better mental performance and I'm also really full with these meals so the eggs and the cheese and the coconut oil really made me really full as opposed to before where I'll still be hungry after eating a meal that was high in carbs as opposed to high in uh, fats. I hope this video helps you out and it's something that you could learn something from and if you have any questions please uh, contact me I would love to help you guys out um, I'll definitely uh, try to make you guys happy thank you guys for tuning in much love always really appreciate you guys check out the links in the description peace